Hello people, this is Code Grind, and in today's video, we'll be talking about the difference between .inner HTML and .inner text properties of JavaScript. What are they used for, and why are they different? So let's get straight into it. So I've got this div with the class compare over here. This is the div which we'll be using to see the difference between the two properties. Now let's get into the JavaScript part at the end of the body tag. So first we'll select that div with the document dot query selector property. const compare document dot query selector dot compare. This will select the div. Now first we'll be seeing the functionality of dot inner HTML property. So inner HTML is basically used to insert any HTML syntax inside any element. So here if I go to compare dot inner HTML and let's say we use an anchor tag right now. So this is the a tag with an href of let's say a hash for right now and in here code grain and I close the anchor tag. So what this will do is it will uh, consider this as any normal HTML syntax and it is similar to something like this. It is exactly similar to this. Now let's undo this. I will hit save and we can see that we got this link with code grind over here and as I click on it we get this hash. So the link is working as well as the href is working. So this is what the inner HTML property is used for. But now if I replace it with inner text then as I hit save you see we get uh, this text over here because the inner text property treats the value inside the double quotes as any normal text unlike the inner HTML which treats uh, the value inside the double quotes as any normal HTML syntax. So this is the basic uh, and only difference between inner HTML and inner text. One treats the value as HTML syntax while the other treats it as any normal text. Now if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such FAQs and amazing tutorials on CSS and JavaScript. Drop a comments down below if you have any queries and thank you for watching.